Oi, Gav! It's gonna get dark if we hang about here much longer. Let's head into town. There's better... Shake! I've probably said it before, but it beats me how you ended up working for an old codger like him. Not that I can talk, though, eh? Guess people say the same thing about me. What? Hmm, who's codger? I do hope you're not referring to me. What would you know? A lowlife like you wouldn't recognise nobility if it came up and bit you on the ah. Dilly-dallying. Where's the princess? I can't see her anywhere. Uh-oh. Here comes trouble, Gav. certainly took us by surprise, but nothing we couldn't handle, eh? Now, where's the princess? Where's my Medea? My precious one and only daughter? Ah! There you are! Thank you! Goodness, you're safe, my dear. Hey, hey! The old princess is back. I say we make a move now, before it gets dark.
Yes, here we are. If my memory serves me correctly, this is the place. This is the town where Master Rylus lives. Hold your horses, Grandad. I thought it was Dolmagus we was after. I am not your Grandad. And of course Dolmagus is our man. He's the one who turned Medea and I into such laughing stocks. But that dastardly magician can't hide from us forever. We must track him down and lift this confounded curse. Oh, just look at my poor Medea. And we'd only just settled on her engagement to the Prince of Argonia. Oh, that despicable Dulmagus. That's why it's imperative we locate Rylus. Will you go and find him? That's the spirit. I knew I could rely on you. I'll be waiting here. You weren't thinking of going without me, I hope. I'm the best there is when it comes to looking for people. It's my beast of resistance, as they say.
you had enough, Mr. Calderasha, sir. I'm sorry, but I've got a business to run. This, uh, haphazard fortune-telling of yours is costing me a fortune in free drinks. What? My fortune-telling? Haphazard? Are you... Let me tell you something for free. All fortune-telling is haphazard. What do you expect? Anyway, so what if I saw it? So what if I foretold the fire? If I tried to stop it, then what? It would only have led to another disaster. That's what. I'm sorry, Mr. Kodarasha, sir. I don't follow. If you're saying you knew about the fire, shouldn't you at least have warned Master Rylus? Yes, poor Rylus. How many times I argued with the old man. I can't... What? What is it? <laughs> you! Come, show your face to the great Calderasha. Yes, yes. Quick, quick! Everyone come quick! There's a monster in town! Wolf? Just come and see! The whole town's gone crazy! What the? This ain't good, Gav. Come on! Look lively! Ooh, he looked at me! Oh, it's hideous! Get out! Get out, monster! You're not welcome here! That was right on the oh, was a fine reception. Do, do you realize who I am? Hmm. Judging a book by its cover, don't they know it's what's inside that counts? Yeah, you can say that again. So then, did you manage to find Master Rylus? What? He's dead? Oh, no, no, no! Well, uh, I suppose there's no point crying over spilt milk. It's Dool Magus we're after. He's the one who cursed the princess and I, after all. He's the one who made us look so ridiculous. I had hoped Rylus might be able to help us locate him. But it seems 
We'll just have to track Dulmeus down by ourselves. With Rylas gone, we have nothing further to gain from staying here. Let's be on our way. Wait! Please wait. I'm sorry to come running after you like this. It's just that I wanted to ask you a favor. Are you not afraid of me, young lady? I dreamt about you. I dreamt that some people came to town with a strange creature. It was sort of halfway between a human and a monster. And I dreamt that they could make wishes come true. A strange creature? Are you referring to me? I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. <laughs> Not to worry. I've had worse things said to me today. You know, you remind me of my Medea. Anyway, uh, you say you had a dream about me. Most peculiar. I'm sorry. I haven't even introduced myself. I'm Valentina, daughter of the great fortune teller Calda Rasha. If you could just come to my house, I'll explain everything there. It's by the well, at the far end of town. I'll be waiting for you! What was she rabbiting on about? Come round my house, she says. Magnificent! She wasn't afraid to look at me at all, not one bit. Oh, she reminds me of my Medea. We must give this young girl a helping hand. Right then, my boy. Go and find the house by the well and see what it is she wants. Hmm? Me? I'll wait here with the princess. We don't want to cause any more of a stir. 